All right, I'm gonna show you Pythagorean triples. The good news is you don't need to know this, okay? But if you do know it, A, it's gonna save you a lot of time, less chance of making mistakes, and on the SAT, um, every little minute's gonna help, okay? So, here are Pythagorean triples. This is by far the most famous Pythagorean triple on Earth. Then this one, this is kind of loosely known, but if you got these two dialed in, you're gonna be all set. How many Pythagorean triples are there? Unlimited. What that means is I could take integers, take the two smaller ones squared, add them together. It's gonna to equal the bigger one squared, okay? There's unlimited amounts, but let's just focus on these. So the classic three, four, five, or multiples thereof. So check it out. What if I multiplied everything by two? Six, eight, 10. You see what I did? Multiply each of these by two. How about if I multiply them by four? 12, 16, 20. With that logic, what's the mystery number here? Well, three times five, five times five, so the mystery number is 20. Let's apply it to these triples. Uh, what if I went by, what if I went 50, 120, 130? I just multiplied everything by 10. Well, coming down here, five times three, ooh, 12 times three, so what's the mystery number? I think you got the hang of it. What if I went by, multiplied by three? So 24, 45, 51. What's the mystery number here? Well, what did I do to get from 15 to 30? Multiplied by two, but I wanna make sure I did it over here, yes. So the mystery number is 16. That right there are the Pythagorean triples that you'll need to know.